The beautiful mazurka is the last of the three dances in Tchaikovsky's children's album, and in many ways, the most difficult. It is a marvelous preparation for the Chopin mazurkas that we all enjoy playing so much because it covers some of the same difficulties. Let's start with the rhythm. Mazurka is in three and very often goes um, dunk, dunk, very much the way a waltz does, but not at all the way a waltz does. In the waltz, the first beat is long and the second and third beats are both quiet and foreshortened, squished together. In the mazurka, the most important beat is the second. So the mazurka goes one, two, three, one, two, three. We know from historical records that when Chopin played the mazurka, he made the second beat sometimes so long that he was accused of actually messing up the rhythm and making the beat sound as if he were in four. I don't propose doing that. I'm just suggesting that the second beat needs particular attention here. When we look at the right hand, the first feature that immediately comes to our attention is the number of little 16th rests throughout. They seem to break up the melody all over the place. And these are part and parcel of the mazurka style. If you look at any of the Chopin mazurkas, you will find them there also. Therefore, it is extremely important to obey the rests and actually come off the key. So not, absolutely not, but just like in a Chopin mazurka, the little 16th rest is probably going to be quite a bit longer than what a true 16th would be mathematically speaking because the hand has to come up and back down again. This is a dance element and it also means the note following the rest is going to be later and shorter creating a kind of a snappy dance rhythm, not but Can't you just see proud people in beautiful outfits and army uniforms snapping their heels? Mazurka. As in most dances written by other composers as well, there's a great deal of repetition in this piece, which presents us with interpretive challenges and opportunities. There are so many things we can do to vary the phrase. Obvious, of course, is dynamics. Quiet. and creating a most exciting and interesting performance. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. If you have more, please leave them in the comments. Happy practicing!